Welcome everyone to the 8th episode of the Simon FC Career Mode on FIFA 23. And in today's episode, the biggest game ever to happen at the Valley occurs. Now, Charlton fans, I don't want to hear about you had some magical FA Cup ride back in like 1942. Actually, it wouldn't have been 1942, it was World War II. 1961. Here we go. But in this universe, in my universe, Simon FC are the biggest, best club at the Valley. And we have a chance in today's episode to win the EFL League 2 title, and if not that, at least guarantee promotion up to EFL League 1. But, a little bit of an issue because I have a meeting with the board with over my performance. I don't know why. We, I think it might be because we haven't met all of our goals because we physically cannot until the season is over, which is a huge issue on FIFA 23, which just very annoyed they haven't fixed. Ezra Hale will be on loan for all of next season over at Turkish side Kasima Pasa. And now it's time for a away fixture against Tranmere Rovers at Prenton Park. Lab that we're going for is our coveted 3-5-2. Parchers in goal, Chor, Carr, Quadwo, center backs, Al Hadri, Norris, defensive mids, Chipperfield, Voigt, outside mids, Nyabo attacking mid, and obviously Leonard and Jebison up top. This is probably going to be the exact same lineup for all four games because this is our best lineup and we need to win every single one of these games. Here are the highlights. Getting of that ball in. Real chance. And the keeper there to deal with it. And now the delivery. In it goes! Can they trouble the opposition this time? Gives it a go! Frantic action! From Pressure here, not giving their opponents time to think or get out of their own half. A really sumptuous ball. Corner kick played in. Can they keep it out? And in at the second. Excellent ball over the top. And a goal! Another one! And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Leonard, there's a slide draw pass, they've got him. Now options are plenty. Has a go, just couldn't get it through. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. They're oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. And there it so we won the game 6-2, continuing our triumphant run at the League 2 title. Hugo Haynes will be on loan all of next year at RFC Serang over in Belgium. And now it's time for us to host Salford City, David Beckham's club, at the Valley. Lineups are going for, like I said, expected to be the same for the rest of the season. Need every single win, need to win big as well. Here are the highlights. Challenge, you have to say. Disappointing pass. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. They need to get bodies back with both time and space. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. It's in, they're looking real. A very effective clearance. 
A glorious chance. Still could be dangerous. And he gobbles up the second chance. Carr. Norris. Oh, he's through here. Another goal! The lead. He takes aim. Can they keep it out? And in! Oh, yeah! Bad the ball. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Well, visionary passing. He's just got to continue his run. So we won the game 5-1. to one. Hadrick from Leonard. Two goals from Jebison. Pure, pure domination. I mean, their keeper had 11 saves. We had 23 total shots, so I feel very good about how this team is performing late in the year. Oscar Whitehead's going on a year-long loan, so is Ewan Ford. Now it's time to travel to Victoria Park to face off against Hartlepool United. Like I said, we're going the same lineup. Need to win every single game. We have been. Hopefully that continues. Here are the highlights. Can he do it to take the lead? That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. A chance now with the corner. Oh, they've done it! He'll try his luck here. Well, not quite the tantalizing free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And another! De Oliveira and running it back. He's got to score! Oh, great block. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. This to pull one back. And the spot kick is converted. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. What can they do from here? Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Can he finish? And a goal! To pull one back here. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Who can he pick out? And a goal! As it stands, the stick. <laughs> Leonard. And he might be through here. And it might be, and there is the goal! So on this game, 5-2, Hattrick from Jebison, two goals from Nyabo. And now it is time for the biggest game ever. If we win this game, we will go on to win the league. Simple as that. We'll finally get to see a trophy celebration at the Valley. And we will get promoted up into League 1. Lineup is the same. Stakes are as high as they've ever been. Here are the highlights. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shot. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Oh, Derek, can he finish this? Oh, it's gone in! And that... Corner kick played in. Couldn't quite find his teammate. He's in with a chance. In it goes, a thing of beauty. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And he's made headway. And he's made it a break. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Big opportunity. 
And the keeper nowhere to be found. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And he's in. Big chance it is. A goal! No pressure. Oh, breezing past him. Well, the supporters think it's on. And a goal to seal the hat trick! So we won the game 6-0. to zero, And there is the trophy celebration. First ever for 7 FC League 2 champions. We're going on to League 1 next year. Just one step in the chase for European glory, Premier League glory, FA Club glory. We'll probably throw the Carabao Cup in there. Let's also go for Europa League, Conference League, Super Cup. Let's just try to win it all. But it's all about the small steps. Which we have taken the first of right here. So proud of the team. But the team's going to look a little bit different next year. Billy Dickinson will be leaving. And I'm so happy about that. But yeah. Last game of the season. Wimbledon kind of choked it. I think they drew. No, they lost. And we obviously went on to win. So we won the league title. Jevison was the leading goal scorer in the league with 37 goals. Leonard, 36 in second place. Nyabo, leading assist with 17. Leonard, behind him with 16. But yeah, FA Cup got knocked out in the third round by Arsenal. What do you expect? Carabao Cup knocked out in the second round by Blackpool. Pop John's Trophy, I could care less about, knocked out in the group stages. And appearance-wise, Teddy Carr, Chipperfield, Nyabo, and Leonard appeared in pretty much every single game for us this year. Al Hadri and Jebison and Quadwo appeared in pretty much every single one as well. But Leonard, leading goal scorer with, throughout all competitions this year with 40. Jebison just behind him with 39. And Nyabo had 12. And then assist-wise, Nyabo led the team in assists with 19. Leonard, though, came in second with 16, which is very weird because if you remember back from episode 5 when I bought Jebison I talked about you know the strikers need to play off of each other and I said that you know Leonard's more of a just an all out goal scorer while Jebison's a little bit more of a goal scoring slash playmaking striker so the plan was for Jebison to be a little bit more playmaking and Leonard a little bit more of a poacher and that's kind of proven to be the opposite case but we do have a lot of players leaving once their contracts have expired no one really matters except for Gunnarsson, the Icelandic defensive midfielder. He is retiring, I believe, so thank him for his service that he did for us these last this last year and a half. And looking at our most valuable players, Sanders Nyabo is valued at 4.2 mil, Jebison's 3.1, and Leonard's 3.6. And as a club in our history, we have now officially won our first ever trophy. Um, we did get our new biggest win in that game against Wimbledon. We've now played 113 matches, won 50, drew 31, lost 32, scored 217 goals, and allowed 179. But yeah, this is how the team looks. I mean, for a League One side, very, very solid. I mean, might need a new left mid there for Voigt, but strikers look fine, attacking mid's fine. I'm going to keep Norris in there just because of his potential. Chipperfield's fine. Back line, maybe get a replacement for Quadwo since he isn't developing any further as he's reached his potential, but other than that, a very, very solid team, and I cannot wait to bring you guys that next series. We'll be up in League One. I'm gonna stick with the four games for three months that way. Things just kinda keep moving along. Still get to use some players every once in a while. But I really do hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Again, I'm open to any comments, any suggestions that you guys have about the videos. I can't guarantee you that I will respond right away or make the changes right away because I do pre-record a lot of these episodes, but the minute that you guys do have suggestions, I will change things. And I hope you just hope you guys enjoyed watching the series. Obviously, we're only two seasons down now. I estimate looking ahead, I might just do a 10 seasons and I might just say that I'm going to do 10 no matter what. But who knows, depending on what else I want to do, if I get bored with the series, or if we're just winning everything, might just end it at some point, but it's all a long way down the road, but getting this promotion up to League One allows me to start thinking about these things, and gives me a chance to, you know, just start thinking about the future, 
of these this club and the series. Probably gonna try to sign some more players from other sidemen clubs and hopefully get some better results and keep getting promoted. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you all in the next one.